Welcome back. I'd like to ask you to, you know, if you've enjoyed these, I uh, hope you'll subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. I thought I'd switch it up instead of saying that at the end, since, you know, get that out of the way. So one thing I did want to point out, since uh, we have uh, gone and done the uh, board challenge, we are now the director. Don't ask me how, you know, I mean, that is not what we are wearing right now. Not. But we have our picture on the board as the director now. Not Trench. Nothing else looks like it's changed, but that has. Right there, so. Anyway, now we have things we can shoot, so. These guys apparently want to take on the director. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. Trench, you can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You Don't worry about it, girl. We ain't gonna let it happen. Got him. There. So you can see the little health element things. Okay, so. Still can't go this way, so. Going this way. And there we go. Got the health elements. You know, you'd think as a director they'd give me the clearance to this stuff already, but no. You know, I still gotta file paperwork, all that kind of crap. That's bullshit, man. Bullshit! I'm mad with power. Mad with power. So, obviously, all that red stuff, that ain't good. I can tell you right now, that just does not look good. So, we're trying to get to that little spot that's yellow. Yeah, we got a bunch of collectibles. So this is the darling presentation on the uh, objects of power. Don't really need to see that. Case files. There's a case file on the service weapon. Uh, you know, it binds itself to certain individuals seeking the role of... Now that, that's director. I mean, that's just got to be it. The object will determine whether the applicant's uh, you know, eligible to be director. The projected the applicant is terminated. The process is dicta dictated by the board, I would guess, though the criteria is unknown. It was discovered inside the oldest house, in that room. Uh, popular hypothesis is this thing has taken many forms throughout the threat history. Uh, lists some of those forms, like Excalibur, all weapons that adhered to their wielders, for lack of a better way to put it. Um, object power force is based on collective subconscious. It may be the original manifestation event. In this case, blank. I don't know. So there's Director Trench. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility. The privilege. Again, don't really know what's going on in there, but, you know, I'm sure we'll find out at some point, so... Don't worry about it. The hotline. What? Secure line of communication. Guide us. Okay. Reach the hotline. Got it. So we're looking for the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. So, delays caused by sh house shifts do not count towards overtime, so house shifts. And here we are, again. Our picture is now the director's picture. 
Don't know how they figured that out, but you know, that's what we're going with. You want some of this, buddy? Guess up. Guess up. Nope. Got a machine gun. Where you going? My gun don't run out ammo, buddy. I got this. Got you. Where the hell is he at? Where's the hell shooting at me? Load. There we go. Much better. Oh, jeez. They're coming out of the woodwork. Anybody else? Anyone? I'm the director, so I'm taking applications for kicking ass and taking names, and I ain't got a pen or a piece of paper. So I'm just here to kick ass. Alright, so anyway, so these must be people that worked at the bureau who are having a bad day. They're doing some sort of seance kind of thing, it sounds like. So, anyway, always check the bathrooms. You never know. There's Sometimes there's something in here, you know. So agenda items, rising cost of a altered world experience or whatever that was, response. Update on mold, eradication efforts, upcoming salary reviews, and coffee filters. I mean, you have to vet that person, really? Wow. I mean, that just tells you how top secret this place is. I mean, coffee filters, you can't, you know, and here I am as a director again. You know, coffee filters got to be vetted. I mean, you just can't have somebody bring in some coffee filters. Crazy. See, he's having a bad day, too. I mean, man, these are old film projectors. I mean, they were like that when I was a kid. Goodness. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. Okay. So that was what we just heard. So we're going to go ahead and just skip that. Mm, right. Do I see anything that we're missing over here? Not yet. There's a shelter here, so we'll go over there and check that out in just a sec. Again, we're just kind of running through here, just kind of seeing if there's anything that we're missing. Don't see anything. There's a central executive. Those people are talking all weird. Continuing to run around here. What's that say? Can't find your office, watch your step. Guessing that's, you know, that's related to the shift thing. So, yeah, there we go. Don't let mold hitch a ride. 
I don't think they mean mold like the way we mean mold. Dinner reservations. It's her birthday. Oh, that's nice. She turned 46. I don't know whoever that person is that wrote that, but that person, that's a hell of a personal assistant right there. Keeping you on your toes, keeping you informed, because, you know, that would have been bad if you'd forgotten that. So, let's work hard. His life is in your hands. Your hands can spread the mold. So, again, I don't think they're talking about mold in the way we think of it. So they have a 3D printer. So yeah, this is pretty current, so. All right, so let's go check out this. This is to Marshall. Haven't met this person yet. Checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth. Um, I need to find a better way to sort fake AWEs from the real thing. So, yeah. Nope. Yeah. So you want to check all these shelters if you can, because they've got this stuff, this undefined reading, you know, it's like, I think it's some sort of thing you can use to like create stuff, so, but, I don't know. Self-serve vending machine for all your needs. The vending machine company, okay, well, don't really know what but it's serving, it doesn't really say, so. Need to work on that, guys. Okay, this is not good, it's red. Red is bad. Central executive. All right. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. So that is whoever she's talking to. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. Oh yeah, welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control established in 1964. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so this place was discovered in 1964. Mm. So if people don't leave, you ask them some questions, uh, and then you tell them to leave. If their answers seem da -da -da, you need to escort them to a private room there, perform the psychological assessment. If the responses are within the acceptable range of deviance, then blank immediately. But remember, there's no such thing as too suspicious. Okay. So something really bad has happened here. Urban legends. Urban legends, uh, creation of altered materials, but we can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Sort of paranormal phenomena contain clear elements of populist folklore, AWEs that only occur on blank, a pair of scissors that consume human blood, through two punctures on the blank. These details, I mean, the minds of so many have given strength beyond belief. They are paranatural realities, realities waiting to happen. Okay. So, whatever AWEs are, 
they are real and we should give them some heavy duty respect. Okay, I don't need to listen to the radio. So it's gonna go down here as soon as we keep going any further in here, so. Because red, red is a bad color. I don't care what anybody says. And looks like the stairwell is blocked off. So, get ready. Let's do this! Well, that dude's tough. God damn, who the hell's shooting all that shit at me? Somebody's shooting like a grenade launcher at me. What the hell? God! Stop that shit! I think he killed his own guy there. Reload! Pick up that thing. Ah! God bless. Stop that. Not really sure who the hell that guy was. Damn, he's tough. Yeah, he's corrupt. He's corrupt, dude. He's dead now. I got him. Cleanse the control point. Me fix it. Okay, so we've collected all the little blue thingies, so we've got our health back up as high as we can. So let's cleanse this thing. Ah, so that's what they mean by shifts. This place redesigns itself. It's like. It's like HG TV it. on steroids. Hello. Can you hear me? Is that the voice in my head? With the bureau. Are you still sane? Well, you better hope so. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, a Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. How does she know I'm the new director? And why are they wearing speakers? Director Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Yep, I get that. Trench is dead. Yep. Shot. Ah, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, 
I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. I don't think that worked. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Jesse, over here. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. What kind of name is Ordinary for a town? I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... He's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or the few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is. He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone, a direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. 
I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. Only stupid people. The door people. to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. House memory. So, let's look here real quick. So these are all directors. So there's six on each level. So there's 12. There's trench way up there. And then there's where I would go. Okay. Also picked up quite a bit of stuff here. So let's look at what we got here. Now we got two mods that we can put in. Health recovery per element pickup of 20% up 25% okay well 20% or 25% we'll go with 25% so we have some new materials we got house memory material and cons hidden trend conceptual materials don't really know what any of those are but okay uh, unknown caller so Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline so we need to go find the hotline hotline Oops. Oh. His research. So this is the hip corrupted agents. These are the people that are just floating around. Uh, they levitate. They don't display any aggressive behavior. They seem interested only in vocalizing their strange incantation. Uh, yeah, I don't really know much about them. His guards. This is the internal security from the bureau. Uh, they have bullpup rifles. Uh, armored guards have pump shotguns. No paranormal abilities, thankfully. Certain his guards are protected by a shielding of his resonance. Uh, I don't know. But they know how to use their weapons. Yep, that's for sure. Here's another picture of Trench. Okay. All right. Well, that seems like a good stop in place. So we will go ahead and stop. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And we will pick back up here with the next episode. Uh, I'm going to go sit down and ask... Uh, What's your name here? Some questions. Uh, and then we'll go out and try and, uh, you know, find the uh, hotline. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, copy. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you back as we continue on through the Federal Bureau of Control. Oh, and by the way, I would like to say that, you know, even though she says she doesn't want to be director, she's not a leader type, you know, I don't think she's got really much choice in the matter. I think the board has already decided that she, Jesse, is going to be the new director. And like it or not, you're the new leader of this thing. So, anyway, we shall see.